Hello and welcome back. These two quotes from Neville Goddard. Listen. Capture the feeling associated with your realized wish by assuming the feeling that would be yours were you already in possession of the thing you desire and your wish will objectify itself. Your assumption to be effective cannot be a single isolated act. It must be a maintained attitude of the wish fulfilled. These two quotes go hand in hand. The first quote tells you to assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled. And the other quote tells you to persist in that assumption. Because what do we do? Sometimes we hold on to that assumption for five minutes, ten minutes, my goodness, even a half an hour, an hour sometimes. But you see, habitually, we fall back into relying on our senses, which means if you're looking for more money, you check your bank account, you're like, oh, I still don't have any money. And you stop persisting in your assumption that you're wealthy because you don't see the evidence of it. Or you're single. You're assuming that you have a beautiful relationship, but you don't see it. And so you stop. That's what we do. It is not enough to hold on to your assumption or persist in your assumption for 20 minutes, one minute, a day, two days, two weeks. You just simply must persist in it. Even though our senses want to dictate, you don't see the thing that you've desired. You don't see it. And because you don't see it, we habitually, I say habit because that is what it is. It is a habit. We habitually look to our senses. Neville specifically says, deny your senses. Yes, you don't have it yet. But in your imagination, yes, you do. And Neville says, if you persist in that assumption, then it must harden into fact. And some people say, well, this is taking too long. Now, Neville also says, he calls it the Sabbath. When you have completely immersed yourself in that feeling of your wish fulfilled, you no longer desire it because you've convinced yourself that you already have it. And that's the thing to recognize here. If you keep letting go of your assumption, it's still a desire. It's something that you still want because you have not fully immersed yourself in the I have this already. So practice in your imagination, holding on to your assumption. Be faithful to your assumption, despite what your senses tell you. Again, I bring you the analogy of the farmer with the bamboo. Bamboo takes three to five years. That seems like a long time to sprout. It seems like a long time. So, Angela, you're saying to me, it's going to take me three to five years to get my desire? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying to you, you planted the seeds of your desire. It is up to you now to be faithful to your desire, which means you know you put those seeds in the ground. Then water them. Every time your senses say, mm -hmm, you don't have it yet. You're still lonely. You're still broke. You know how it works, that nagging sound. Redirect yourself in your imagination and you say, ah, look at how beautiful my relationship is. I love the way he looks at me. I love the way he says my name. I love how his hand feels in mind and you immerse yourself in that feeling. And do not allow the birds, which is your thoughts, to come along and steal the seeds that you have planted. You must persist in the feeling of your wish fulfilled. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's, oh my God, it's so easy to do. Why can't you just do it? That's not what I'm saying to you. Angela, you're being insensitive. You don't know what I go through every single day. You don't know how this feels. You don't live this experience that I'm living. I understand because I too 
also have to convince myself that my desire is fulfilled. You are not on this journey alone. That's why we are here together. So whenever you feel like, man, I can't do this. This is too hard. You've got to remember you planted those seeds. Be faithful to your seeds. Be faithful to them. It's not like you get up today and you're like, oh, you're pregnant. And because you don't feel anything happen, you stop eating for two. You can't do that. Stay faithful. That's what this is about today. And I'm not just saying it to you. I'm saying it to myself because as Confucius says, when one teaches to learn, right? Trust that your desire is already there because everything already exists. It's already been created. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Or how would it feel to you if you had it right now? That is the feeling that you capture. Persist in the feeling of your wish fulfilled. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. We're all on this journey together, so we may as well get to know each other better. Much love.